Okay, we're going to take a look here at a golf swing of a young guy, 30 years old, played sports his whole life at a good level. And we're going to look at uh, how we changed his golf swing and uh, kind of what we did to do it. So if we just look at the golf swing here, first of all, we'll just play it through. You can see it's got that look of going underneath on the way back and then out to the right on the way through, okay? So, the line I've drawn here is the shaft plane line, okay? So we're gonna teach him as a one plane golf swing. So we're gonna try and make his golf swing say parallel to this as it goes back. That doesn't mean it stays on it, it just means it stays parallel. So, let's have a look here. If we look at the start of his golf swing, immediately you'll see here the club head gets underneath and he starts to make a rather large turn of his chest. So the hands would be going too far towards his hips. You can see the shaft is very horizontal. And because of that, it restricts the length of his backswing for one, but gets him in a very low arm position. Now, a lot of golfers from here would keep going and maybe go into an over-the-top motion coming down, and maybe they might be someone who start to hit the slice. This guy here, because he's such a good athlete, he knows how to play sports. He used to be a quarterback, um, also played basketball and baseball, so he knows how to play sports. If you watch his transition... He's making athletic moves, but because of how low and behind him everything is, the club is now coming from underneath. So he will struggle with direction. You can see this ball starts to the right. His misses was a constant push. He would hit the occasional fat shot and thin shot. Didn't really seem to get much of a hook because... Uh, the ball would literally start in so far right. It would, I mean, it would hook, but it wouldn't go into the trees on the left. It just didn't happen enough. So, you can see here, way under plane. And then on the way through, you see how the club is getting further and further away from this yellow line? Well, it should start paralleling for a one planer and going back up left. But you can see the shaft is nowhere near parallel on exit here. have a look at some of the key data points here. Angle of attack is the angle that the club is traveling as it compresses on the golf ball. You can see here he's actually hitting up on this golf ball yet the golf ball is on the ground so he's picking the golf ball. For an iron we want to get it somewhere near negative two. But here's the big one that we're working on. The club path on this particular swing was 12.7 degrees to the right. So even if he was to hit a control draw, we'd want it to only be two or three degrees to the right. So we've got to try and reduce that number because consequently, his club face on this shot was six degrees closed to that. Okay, so there's a little bit of curve on this golf ball if, he, if all things are created equal and he hits it in the middle of the face. So here we have Charlie Hoffman as a model. He's a lower arm swinger of the club, definitely in the one plane model, and uh, in my opinion, absolute pure motion. So like watching his swing. So if you watch his swing here, as it goes back, you'll see the club starts to go just above our shaft plane, and you can see how parallel it stays to that during the backswing. So our student here obviously makes a big, big turn of his chest and the club goes horizontal and under. Now as he goes up, you can see his hands look rather deep and they've actually got on the shaft plane, so they're a little bit too deep. Watch Charlie here. You can see he gets it up almost over his right shoulder, but the, the key is that he's paralleling to that the shaft plane from where he started in a great position. So now as Charlie starts down, you can see he's starting to come down above our shaft plane and the head gets perfectly on plane. The face is perpendicular to its arc and gets him into impact in a beautiful low handle position. Our student here 
comes from behind. He's swinging in too much from underneath. The handle's now above the shaft plane line. The head's coming in, it's almost hitting the ground there. And he's having to come out of his posture just to avoid the ground. And then there's where he swings away to the right. You see Charlie here, as he starts to rotate through with his chest and his left side clears, you can see very on plane. The exit's gonna be absolutely perfectly parallel there on the way through. You can see here, beautiful exit position. Perfectly parallel. And our student here on exit, doesn't matter where we put it there on the way through, you can see it's, uh, let's get it as soon as we see a bit of shaft. You can see there, our student is definitely not on the parallel to the shaft line. So let's take away Charlie. We know you've got a beautiful swing. So thanks for uh, joining us, Charlie. We're gonna jump back over here and bring up the after swing after, uh, after we did a little bit of work. Okay, so we've got our student here. His new version is on the right here. So slightly improved posture, again, a bit more space for his arms, just uh, looks more comfortable for him, a little bit more um, tilted forwards in the hips. The key here though is we're trying to resist the turn in his chest and we're trying to get the club head to feel like it goes straighter back and up. So this is after about five swings, so we're very raw and into his new information. But you can see, a great athlete, and I, I can already see he's on a better track already. You can see he's got him on, on the parallel. And then as he goes up here, he completes a nice backswing now, as opposed to here where he can't complete his backswing. And we've managed to get his arm up on the shoulders. Nice parallel to that. So now as he transitions down, it's much easier for him to get the club in this beautiful parallel position. We can see here... You can see the other one came from underneath, really struggling to get to the golf ball previously. You can see this new one. He's still got a bit of that motion here where the club comes under, but he's able to get it out to the golf ball. And we're going to work next time on really getting that handle down lower and exiting to the left because you'll see here this one was hit a little in the toe. And he's just not used to being able to go through the shot. Okay, So this was really a young guy. He wants to play golf at a good level. Really keen to practice his game. So he's capable of uh, you know, working on through a nice backswing change to be able to improve his overall game. But you can see here the shaft's already starting to go around him. It's not perfect yet, but in upcoming weeks it definitely will be so. Really, really good changes here. So let's, uh, let's just take a look at some of the numbers that went with these two swings and we will, uh, we will wrap things up. So if you remember from the first swing, we saw the, the big issue was the club path was massively to the right of 12 degrees. He would go to anywhere between eight and 12, depending on the golf swing. And typically on what he'd done on the previous golf shot, he would react to that. So you can see here from the swing changes we made, resisting his chest, trying to get the shaft up in front of him. So his turn is actually happening a little later and he's able to get up into a much higher arm swing. Now as the club comes in front, we've just got to teach him how to release the club correctly. Uh, but already the club path has got down to two, so we've taken off about 10 degrees, give or take, on this. And the angle of attack was around positive two as an average, and we're starting to get him nearer to zero, and uh, I do believe we're gonna get him down into the negatives. Uh, for you astute students out there who are really looking at these numbers, you'll notice here his club head speed jumped dramatically. He was around 82 when he came in here. Uh, for a guy of his build and athleticism, not what we'd expect. So uh, he jumped 87.4 on this one. We did get a few that were cranked a little higher than that as well. So 
his potential is uh, very, very good. Looking forward to seeing where this student goes with his game. So, hope you uh, you guys enjoyed this, um, and you know, love to uh, hear your comments and feedback here, and just really trying to help a guy who's got a path issue and very athletic, and I think he's uh, he's going to do really well with the game. So, make sure you. Um, Hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this screen. Hit the bell icon as well. You get the notifications. You guys know what to do. And uh, look out for my upcoming videos. And I do post every week. So speak to you soon.